I'm going to introduce you here. So, uh, so glad that uh, Tara Pilin could be here with us today. Uh, she's a grateful, thankful, and blessed human being with a greater divine purpose as a conduit to create great conscious awareness and change in world through herself. Tara teaches the mentors with Bob Proctor. Bob is the foremost authority in the personal professional development field now for more than half a century. And I'm sure most everybody here has heard of Bob Proctor. So we're ex very excited to hear you speak, Tara. I will turn it over to you. Well, I'm so happy and grateful to be here with you. And Shauna, I think I have till the, when, when am I done speaking? Just so I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will sign back on at 11.15, and then we have five minutes to wrap it up. Okay, so at 11.15, so, okay. Sounds so, good. Yeah, great. So I was thinking about this incredible event that you're hosting, Shauna, and, and really what a gift. I mean, this is a complimentary event, so I hope uh, whether you're here right now or you can hop on later, you don't want to miss this. I mean, there is no greater time than right now to start really tapping into you know your insides and, and feeling better and 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 well-being and well-being i think what's most important around well-being is that it's your natural state that we're meant to just feel good and i know that with the current happenings on this planet there's a lot of people right now that are not feeling very good so i was thinking about what i could share around and and i want to explore your thoughts today and well-being so for a moment and i want you to play full out with me i want you to um just be here right now with me and and actually just participate so i want you to close your eyes and there's been a lot going on on this planet there's been a lot probably going on within your work environment your family environment there's so many moving parts but i want you to close your eyes and i want you to just explore and notice the thought energy. You know, what thoughts have been consuming your mind? And I want you to take a real honest look at those thoughts. Let go of any judgment, any agenda. And I want you just to explore the thoughts. I'm going to give you just a few seconds here. Just explore what are some of those thoughts. And most importantly, even beyond the thoughts, are what are maybe some of those beliefs, some of those beliefs that are reinforcing, um, you know, how you're feeling and the feeling is really important here. And again, just close your eyes and take a moment to do this. Now I want you to write those thoughts down. And I want you to just be brutally honest. You know, what are the thoughts? What are some of those beliefs? What is the feeling? You know, this is a well-being event. So we first got to know where we are um, so that we can, you know, take a, an honest look, an inventory. And then we've got to know where we want to go. Now, I know a lot of people on this planet right now, and uh, I definitely can relate because it's been a bit of a roller coaster, right? Um, a lot of people recognize that those thoughts, those beliefs, and the feeling state isn't maybe of well-being. Now, if that is you, well, there's a lot of people um, that are going to be able to relate. So there's no judgment in this space, but I want to explore your thoughts, and I want to explore well-being because I've learned so much through my mentorship with Bob and all the years in training in, in personal development and energy and vibrational medicine, um, your thoughts really dictate the vibration of your body and how you feel and how you can show up. So thoughts, um, you know, they're causing the problem. They're causing the problem of what we have and, and, and what's showing up. And this has been happening for a long time. So we want to explore our thoughts. Now your thoughts, they're responsible for how you feel and what you attract and the results you get. So you can use your thinking capacity to create what you do want. Now this is the good news, and I, you might wanna write this down, that you have a choice. You have a choice. So regardless of what is going on outside of you, that you do have a choice. You can choose your thoughts. Believe it or not, this is the truth. You get to choose your thoughts. Um, there's a, an incredible book. If you're experiencing a lot of suffering right now at this time, 
um, I would recommend this book. It's called A Man's Search for Meaning by Dr. Viktor Frankl. And what I really love about this book is that Dr. Viktor Frankl, he was in concentration camps and no one could ever imagine what he went through. I mean, what we're all going through, that's nothing. But what Dr. Viktor Frankl discovered, and he was a psychologist, was that everything can be taken away from a man, but his ability to choose what he thinks. And whatever he thinks is going to dictate, you know, how he feels and how he can show up. So your thoughts, your thoughts are yours and you get to choose and you're responsible. You're responsible. So you can use the thinking to, you can use your thinking capacity to create what you do want. If you, things in your environment are not the way that you want, well, you can choose different thoughts and you can start creating a different environment for you. So now what I want you to do is say and maybe write down that I'm going to hold an image of well-being and perfect health, happiness, and wealth in my mind. Now write it down, say it out loud, and affirm it because what we focus on grows, and this is how thought energy works. I mean, thoughts are just part of consciousness, and consciousness is always a reflection of thought energy. So all problems. So when we take a look, I thought it'd be good to explore the body in this well-being event. So all problems in the body, they come from negative um, or fearful suppressed emotions. And this equals a body that is not at ease. This is disease. And it, uh, when the body's not at ease, there's usually a lot of worry and doubt. So if someone comes to me and they're experiencing a lot of worry and doubt, well, worry and doubt only reinforces fear. And fear over time, that turns into anxiety. Anxiety over time turns into depression. We depress, you know, it's depression, that's disease. That's a body not at ease. Over time, that um, disease turns into disintegration. It means we die. Now, we don't want to live in that space. So we have to replace the negative emotions with positive ones. This is really important. You might want to write this down. If you're, if you're experiencing a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of negative beliefs, a lot of negative feelings, well, you've got to replace those with positive ones. Um, daily, you have to get, it really starts with a daily practice and getting your mind calm. Because a mind that is, not is, that is not calm, sorry, a mind that is not calm is stuck in chaos, clutter, and drama. <laughs> so, you stop watching the news. It's very negative. And um, some of you might not like that, but I can just tell you whatever you're focused on, it, it grows. And I remember my mentor saying that, you know, if it's important, you're going to hear about it. So just stop watching the news. There's enough negativity. Uh, if you want to feel better, if you want to get better, you got to start focusing on what you do want. You got to start focusing on the good. You got to start focusing on all the opportunities at this time. You got to start focusing on all the things that are working and maybe how we're going through a reboot and maybe how things could get better and um, how maybe you need to operate within your family and business better. There's opportunities here. Focus on gratitude. So this is how we start to replace those negative emotions with positive ones. Now your body, because when we take a look at the body, and the body is just subjective. So the body is the instrument to the mind. So remember a body at ease, you know, you feel well, you feel good. When the body is not at ease, then you don't feel good. The body is always telling you the truth. The body never lies to you. I mean, I've been a body talk practitioner for over 17 years. The body is always telling you the truth. So the body does whatever you tell it to do. That is key that you understand. The body, tell, it tell, the body does whatever you tell it to do. So the body can turn you into a health machine. And you can use your thought energy to do that. When you choose to live in a positive, abundant, we say a rich and abundant mindset, then your body is going to be a health machine. When you're living in a mindset that is stuck in negativity, which is poverty, which is poor and weak mindset, then your body's not going to be a health machine. 
So you have got to turn your negative thinking into positive thinking. And the body always follows the mind. You might want to write that down. The body always follows the mind. I mean, the body is the instrument to the mind. So the body does what it's told. So um, the body is just taking directions from your mind anyways. So if you're sitting around and just thinking how, you know, and you're just worried and you're doubting all the time and you're just thinking you're going to get it sick and you're going to get sick and, you know, doom and gloom and life sucks. Well, you're not going to feel good and the body is going to tell you. Um, so you want to shift that. You want to shift that to focusing on the good, what you can be grateful for right now, maybe how you can help somebody else. Gratitude, right? These positive thinking and thoughts are going to move you into a positive vibration. Now I'm going to get into vibration soon, but the body is only taking directions from your mind. It all starts in your mind. I've got to get this through to you. Okay. Cause if you want to be living in this place of well being, it all starts in your mind, but we've been programmed to focus on the body, right? I don't feel good, right? I am sick. So we just focus on it. We got to take the focus back up to the mind. What are you thinking? Your body is the instrument to the mind and it only takes direction from your mind. So the body is expressing the operations of the mind. So whether the thoughts are deliberately chosen or automatically expressed, the automatically expressed thoughts are part of your subconscious mental program. Now in my world, we just call this paradigm. Now, paradigm, it's just a compilation um, of your habits. It's just all your habits. It's all your belief systems. It's, again, this is all thought energy, right? It's your conditioning. It's your behaviors. It's your addictions. It's your self-image. So this is the paradigm. So you are conditioned to live the way that you're living. So you must change your conditioning. And it all starts with your thought. Now, we have a perfect way of living and it's all by law so and i want you just to open your mind because many people especially if you're experiencing a lot of suffering well your mind is closed so please just even for this event open your mind to all the speakers open your mind to everything that i'm sharing because it is all by law it's all by law it's by mathematical precision that's how these laws operate and you must understand the laws. So the more you align yourself and bring yourself in harmony with the laws that govern you, the better you're going to feel. Now, some people at this time are experiencing a lot of, there's a lot of challenges. There's a lot of upset. There's a lot of conflict that only comes up for the opportunity to get aligned for the opportunity for correction. And there's a lot of people that are living in a really great vibration and they're feeling great. They're looking for um, the good. They're seeing the good. They're aligning. They're making the changes they need to make to adjust because this is the new world. We're in a reboot, okay? So you're going to have to learn to adjust, and you're going to have to learn how to start thinking and how to understand these laws. So the more you align yourself and bring yourself in harmony with the laws, the better you're going to feel. So thinking causes your body to break down. Your thoughts cause your body to break down. But thinking can also bring your body back into harmony. So change your thoughts and you're going to change your body. You're going to feel better when you're thinking positive and you're looking for the good. You're going to live more in that place of well-being. And how does it get any better than that? Yes, right? That's the place we want to be living in. So every cell in your body, this is an interesting fact. This is science. I mean, all of the work that Bob and I teach and mentor, it's all based on science and theology. We work with the laws. We teach the laws. We teach the higher side of your nature. We get you thinking, right? So every cell in your body, it's created brand new every 11 months. So you can create a whole new body. You can change your thoughts. You can change your vibration. You can create a whole new reality. But as long as you continue to live in the low vibration, the poverty thinking, then you're going to continue to create the same thing because that's science. If every cell in your body is created brand new, why do you keep creating the same, you know, um, bunged up knee or why do you keep feeling achy? You've got to do the internal work. This is absolutely necessary. 
Now, you have to you have to hold an image. Now we think in picture, and you have to hold an image, and you have to affirm what you want. If you want to change your life, if you want to create more ease, you must change your thoughts and you must change your mind. So you got to hold an image and affirm. Here's a great affirmation. I'm going to hold an image of perfect health and that is the way it will be. And you just affirm it. Now, Bob says, I wrote down a few quotes here to share with you. Bob says, when we change the way we think, we change our lives. What most people do not understand is how powerful our thinking is and how involved it is in our health crises. Napoleon Hill, he put it really great here. He says, anything the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. You might want to write that down. Okay, so the images that you hold in your mind create a vibration. We think in picture. If I was to have you close your eyes right now and just do it, right? If I was to have you close your eyes and I was to say Mona Lisa, 99.9% .9 of you are going to bring up a picture of the Mona Lisa. So we think in picture. Now, the image you hold in your mind, it creates a vibration. Now, we're working with the law of vibration. Although you probably recognize, Bob, from the secret, the secret did not give away the secret. You know, the secret you learned about the law of attraction, right? So most of you are familiar with the law of attraction, but the primary law here is the law of vibration. Everything moves. Nothing rests. That's what the law of vibration states, that everything is moving. Nothing rests. So you can control the vibration that you live in by controlling the images that you hold in your mind. So we control our vibrations that we are in. So it all starts with the thought. The thought creates the feeling. And I mean, by the way, we're having something like 60,000 thoughts a day. It can be really hard to kind of take inventory of what thoughts we're having. But we know how we feel. So my suggestion is, and I would suggest you take moments in silence. You know, set a timer. And just take moments throughout your day, even if it's two minutes or five minutes, and just stop what you're doing and just sit. Notice the feeling state that you're in. Just notice, how are you feeling? Because the feeling is always telling you what your thought, what your thought energy is. Okay, so the image that we build in our mind, the image, it goes right back to our belief system. So that image, right, there's the thought, there's the feeling. So that is all telling us what our belief systems are. And our belief systems are really the problem here because they have control over our life. Now, when you have really great belief systems, then of course your life and results are going to get better and better. Now, Bob always says, the one belief that always leads to failure is, I am not good enough. Oh, let's just get rid of that belief right away. Affirm, I am good enough, right? Affirmations are really powerful. I spent years with Tony Robbins, but use it as an incantation because it's the feeling. I am good enough, right? I have the power and strength of the universe within me. I feel amazing. And at first you might have to fake it till you can make it, but you might recall a time when you did feel good. Go back to that time. Go and start working with that thought energy. Now, if you don't believe that you can do something, you're not going to do it. So some of you are going to hear me sharing this. And if you don't believe it, if you're just so stuck and you don't believe it, you're not going to do it. You might um, give a weak effort, but in the end, it won't work because you don't believe. You must believe. You got to build your faith muscle. You got to ask yourself, why don't I believe this? Is this belief serving me? We have so many beliefs and your results are always going to tell you if you've got really positive and rich and abundant beliefs, or if you've got negative ones, remember the belief is all just a product of your thinking. So without belief, nothing is possible, but with belief, all things are possible. One of my beliefs and one of my affirmations I work with is with God, the word God triggers, you could say creator, but with God, all things are possible. All things are possible if you believe. So question your beliefs. Start to question your beliefs. 
And when you're not feeling good, you know that there is a negative thought pattern. There's a negative belief that's getting in the way. There's a negative image. And we think an image. So you got to take a look and dissect that, pull it apart. So let's look at the body a little bit more closely. So you have an ingenious system within your body. This ingenious system keeps you healthy. The body has an incredible healing ability. I mean, if you cut yourself, all of a sudden, like your body just knows how to, we call it an inner wisdom. Your body knows how to start healing. It starts coagulating and sending all, you know, blood and oxygenated blood. It does what it needs to do. It's ingenious and it works. It just works on its own. You don't have to tell it to work. So from an energy perspective, um, when your thoughts are focused on a lot of negativity, maybe they're focused on the virus. Maybe they're focused on this election we just had. I don't know. But when your beliefs are focused or your thoughts are focused on that, of course, there's going to be beliefs. What is that feeling? This is when you get stuck in a lot of mental chaos and confusion, and we call it drama. You are going in the wrong direction. Stop it. So you've got to impregnate your mind um, with what you do want. Most people on this planet right now are putting in the wrong information. Now, when you do that and you suppress a lot of those feelings, because you're not feeling very good, whatever gets suppressed, that gets pushed down, well, it has to be expressed. And, then, and when we suppress it, it's very dangerous. We're not living in a state of well-being and you want to live in a state of well-being. This is your birthright. So those feelings, when they're suppressed, they have to get expressed somehow. So they get expressed in false growth. That's how they show up and they show up through an ache. You don't feel good. They show up, you get told you got cancer. Disease is only a body that is not at ease. You got to go back to the thought. So a lot of people are holding a lot of feelings right now. When you don't feel well, it's because you've suppressed a lot of those feelings that come from the thought energy. So this is when you're allowing what's going on outside of you to control how you're feeling inside. If you want to feel better, you've got to do the internal work. You have to go inside. You've got to get um, knowledge. You've got to get study. You got to, We call it specialized knowledge and mentorship. I am so grateful that when I wasn't feeling good and I know disease, that I went to incredible teachers and mentors and I started working with incredible material. This is what you have to do. Because if you don't, you're going to continue to experience what you don't want. Now, going back to the belief. If you go back to your beliefs, you start to dissect and pull them apart because the belief is a real problem here. You can reevaluate those beliefs and you can create new beliefs, right? The number one cause of all failure is I'm not good enough. Well, create a new belief. You are good enough. You're God's highest form of creation. You can do anything that you, that you want to do. You just got to stop listening to all the negativity. And sometimes that's yourself. And you got to start believing. Now, it was George Bernard Shaw. He said, people are always blaming circumstances for what they are. I do not believe in circumstances. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they cannot find them, they make them, right? I just love that. So if you don't like the current circumstances that are going on in your life, you can change it. You, all you have to do is understand that you are the only one who can change it. You can't change what's going on outside of you, but you can change what's going on inside of you. When you change the inside, the amazing thing is the outside start to change, right? It was Mahatma Gandhi, be the change that you wish to see. There is no greater time than right now on this planet for you to align with the laws that govern you, for you to get that study and understanding, for you to get mentorship, for you to start moving towards what you do want. And whatever you focus on, it grows. This is all by law, right? This Emerson said, the law of all laws is a law of cause and effect. Guys, what you need to understand in this well-being event is that everything is an inside job. You have a choice. Write that down. I have a choice. I can choose to see the negative or I can choose to see the positive. 
If I choose to see the negative, I'm going to be in a negative vibration. I'm going to get negative results. If I choose to see the positive, I'm going to get positive results. I'm going to feel better. So you can rewrite your life. That's one thing that I want to help you with right now. Like you can rewrite your life. If you're not feeling good, if your results are not good, you can rewrite it. You can rewrite your health. You can rewrite your wellness at any time you choose because you have a choice. And um, all you have to do is really just take a look, an honest look, an inventory at what is currently going on, at your thoughts, at the feelings and the beliefs. Now you just need to change your paradigms. Now, I'm in the business of changing paradigms, and maybe Shauna can put my email or my website, and please reach out to me. Be happy to have a conversation, but there's only two ways we change our current programming. That's what a paradigm is. It's a mental subconscious program that was given to you. It's not your fault. Most of the things you do, you don't even know why you do it. We were programmed genetically and environmentally. So the only two ways we do it is through constant spaced repetition. It's what we do every day. That's we're acting out of habit. We're not even thinking. And it's through emotional impact. We're in an emotional impact right now. Many people are in a major emotional impact. So use this time to create those success habits. Use this time to create the program you do want. Unhappiness, by the way, is a habit. Disease, it's a habit. Wellness positive. It needs to become a habit. So I want you to take time today to write out all the negative results in your life that you're getting that you don't want. Write them all out on a piece of paper. And then what I want you to do is to make a decision. Decision means to cut off. I want you to make a decision to just rip that up, rip it up. All those negative things that are showing up in your life, all those things you don't want, rip it up and then burn it. It's very symbolic of releasing it. Okay. It doesn't mean it's gone, but this is a really great practice I wanted to share with you today in this well-being event. And then write out the polar opposite, write out the results and write out the life that you do want. Write it out, um, rewrite it out. Maybe you got to do it a hundred times and then read it out loud with just full faith. Like you believe that this is possible. By the way it is, if you can dream it, it's on the other side waiting for you to become a vibrational match. So you need to reprogram yourself for what you do want. And as you reprogram your mind, your results get better. Your results get better and better and better. Now I'm speaking from personal experience. I mean, I've spent many years studying with some of the best on this planet, you know, Miriam Williamson, Dr. Wayne Dyer, um, oh my gosh, there's so many, Tony Robbins, you name the person. I've spent many, many years studying with them. But it wasn't until I started studying the material that I teach and mentor with Bob that my results started quantum leaping. Everything changed in my life. So this is a powerful practice that I'm sharing with you. It's going to seem illogic. It's not going to seem crazy. Do it anyway. And then every day, start reading this. Um, if you tell yourself something often enough, you will start to believe it. And you get to choose. You can choose a lie or you can choose what you want. And most people have been choosing a lie. So William James, William James said that believe that life is worth living and your belief will help you create the fact. Uh, I mean, Bob always says it, you're an unlimited being. You are unlimited. You have unlimited potential within you. The only limits that you have are the ones that you put upon yourself. This includes overcoming even a death sentence that's been prescribed by a doctor. You have choice. So you need to understand the universal laws that you're working with law. Remember, they work to mathematical precision, right? The law of gravity. It works its own way. It doesn't work your way. It doesn't work my way. If you went up to the roof of the house of wherever you live and you jumped off, I don't do it, but you're going to splat. That is a law. That's a law of gravity. That's how laws work. They work to precision. So you have to understand the laws and you want to understand the relationship of the body to your mind. You want to understand the root of disease, right? Disease is a body that's not at ease. This again is an inside job. It's an inside job. Nothing and no one outside you is to blame. We, each of us, 
got to take personal responsibility and make those choices to live the life that we want. And that's an empowering place to live from. You have unlimited resources and knowledge. You just need to go within, you need to do the internal work and the rest will follow. So start by increasing your awareness. Awareness is the name of the game here. Start questioning all your beliefs. Get clear on what you want. What's your bigger why? What's your purpose? There's no better time, friends, than right now to align with the laws and to show up as a leader. We are looking for leaders. I remember Mark Devine, a Navy SEAL I studied with, and I remember him saying, the leader you're looking for is you. Align with the laws that govern you. Get the study, get the mentorship, and start showing up as a leader because we're all leading in some capacities. Just most people are not leading. We're leading from outside in. A real leader leads from inside out. Now, according to the laws that govern you, everything is always moving in an upward direction. This means God or creator, the laws that govern you, want you to win. There's nothing against you. This energy wants you to win. God wants you to win. So I want to encourage each and every one of you that are here today to just really start taking a look at your thoughts. Thought is energy. It's a vibration. The thoughts that you live in dictate the vibration of the body. They dictate the vibration of how you feel and how you can show up. Now remember, all things are possible. Even if you just started writing that out, all things are possible. You know, mine is, you know, uh, with God, all things are possible. You can write out with creator, all things are possible. With me, all things are possible. But start writing that out. Start believing it. Uh, reach out. Get the help. Get the support that you need because well-being, health, wealth, happiness, this is your birthright. It's not just for the special few, it's for everyone. Now I'm gonna leave you with a quote by Edgar Cayce. He says, healing of the physical without the change in the mental and spiritual aspects brings little real help to the individual in the end. The mind and body imprint and imitate each other. What we think, we become. What we become, we think. It's an, in, it's an insidious process that can predispose us to illness or it can lead us to health, can lead you to health. So take some time today. I'm so grateful to Shauna. I'm so grateful to the Balanced Wellbeing Center for hosting these events. This is complimentary. I'm so grateful to Shauna's storytelling too. You're going to want to reach out and connect to her page. Um, because there's so many opportunities to get the support, to get the um, knowledge and the study uh, to align with those laws. But you got to start where you are. You got to do something. Start with the thought, start moving your thoughts into a positive vibration, into a vibration that's rooted in gratitude. And I promise you, I absolutely promise you, your results in life will get better and better and better and start holding that image of perfect health and well-being in your mind. And the body has to follow. It just has to follow. There's no other way. It's all by law, right, Shauna? Yeah, that was fantastic, Tora. I just love that. Thank you so much. I know you've set this message regularly. I know that that's how you think, but it takes a lot of practice, doesn't it, to keep reaffirming that, not slipping back to the bad habits we have. It does. And that's why I wanted to share with you, as I did earlier, that there's only two ways that we change our current programming. We're just all acting out of a program. It's what we do every day. My mentor, Bob Proctor, I mean, he's known as a world leader in human potential. As of last week, he celebrated 60 years of studying every single day, Think and Grow Rich and the material we teach and mentor. Every day. That's how habits are formed. Success is habit, just like failure is habit, just like disease is habit. Yeah. Well-being, you need to make well-being a habit. I have to say, I'm so impressed with you, Tara. You're so good on being Facebook Lives all the time. You send pictures and quotes and thoughts 
all the time. That really helps us all stay more focused on what is going through our head <clears throat> to help us to get to where we want to be and stuff. So I can't thank you enough for that. You're awesome. Um, Aww, yes, I will definitely. You. Oh, it's definitely. a habit. It's become a habit. And that, <laughs> that's happened. always Bob. That was Bob getting me uncomfortable because he's like, you got to just get in front of people and help as many people as you can. So it had to just become a habit. And I mean, I'm nowhere where I'm going to be a year from now, Shauna. You just wait. <laughs> it's just going to get better and better. Well, you must, yeah, you must help that this, this habit is helping you too stay mm -hmm. focused on that. And you're helping all exactly. of us at the same time. Exactly. Accountability is the glue to commitment. I just make myself. There's times, and I just want to share with all of you, there's going to be times where you're not going to want to do what you need to do. There's going to be times where you don't want to think positive or you don't want to write down gratitudes or write down this script I asked you to write down. That's when you have to do it. You got to take action because without action, action, nothing changes. Everything stays the, change, stays the same. And then you just become a plaything for the outside forces. You know, Bob was saying the other day, he said, the real pandemic is not the virus. It's not the black movement. It's not the lesbian and gay movement. It's not all these other movements. The real pandemic on this planet right now is victimhood. We have to do our work. If you want to change the world you're living in, you got to do the work. It is an inside job. Absolutely. And I know you're doing an immersion weekend and you're going back to it. Yeah, four weeks diving into the subconscious programming with my other mentor, Diedrich Walsack, who was actually a concentration camp survivor himself. So we're going deep. That's awesome. And yes, I most definitely will share information about how you can get a hold of Tara and her website and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's always, always a joy to be around you, Tara. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. And